Whoa, look at the size of that scorpion. That is huge. If everybody turns the light off quickly, three, two, one. Look at that, an absolute monster. I'm Jack Randall. Oh, bam. See that, that was crazy cool. I'm finding every animal on the planet. Whoa. I'm in the wild. I think it's down here. Whoa, Up close and personal. And a massive snake! OK, there's a scorpion on my arm. This is just remarkable. Look at that. Reticulated python in the water. Come on, let's go. Tonight, I'm going to be using a new tool, and that is the UV light. There's one animal that actually glows in the dark. They're scorpions. The areas I'm going to be looking are where there will be their burrows. In those burrows, I'll be looking for any pincers that might be sticking out. I've heard they're quite aggressive, but I really want to test that theory out. I want to be able to find one of those scorpions and then handle it with my bare hands. Scorpions are nocturnal. During the day, they remain deep in their burrows but at night, they emerge to feed. Moths, geckos, centipedes, all of these animals are out at this time, and they are all on the dinner menu for the scorpions tonight. But where I'm looking for the scorpions is areas where they might be hiding. Now, they could be hiding in rotten tree trunks, or, they could be in burrows in the side of the bank. Even though I know these scorpions live in this forest, it's only until I've found the perfect habitat for them to be living that I have a chance to spot them. The setting and the potential burrows need to look perfect. So you see this area here, this actually is starting to look good. But once you do find that perfect place, you have a good chance of finding lots. Okay, we're getting closer. I think there's a possibility this is where the scorpions are gonna be. I'm gonna get the UV light on and start looking for them. The scorpions actually glow in the dark under UV light. So I've just found a wall here and I've seen a tiny bit of glow. I reckon we're in luck for finding a scorpion. Ah, yes. Okay. Right there. You see a scorpion in between the cracks. Oh, too quick, too quick. Another one in the cracks there. I'm really trying to find these scorpions with my black light. I found them, I know exactly where they are, but they're being very sneaky. They have these little burrows. They come out waiting for prey to come along. They're little pincers that are sticking out and you can see them in there. As they glow in the dark, it's so easy to spot them, but actually catch them, it's very, very tricky. Okay, here you go, big one. Really big one. That's my target one. Wow, okay. Damn, oh, they're so hard. Oh, I had him. They're very annoying. They're definitely, it's, there's scorpions here. I can see them. It's so annoying. They're getting too clever for me now. And I'm, before I get close to them, they're just going straight into their burrows. I need to find another location where I can see some more scorpions, change my tactic, be a bit better this time. Okay, let's go. Okay, whoa, wow, oh my, wow, that is huge. That is a lobster sized scorpion, an absolute whopper. Look at the size of those pincers. Oh, he's going in. Okay, looks like there's no end to that burrow. I might try and hook him out. This may well be my chance because there's no hiding further deeper. That is an ending right there. So you can see on my, my black light, you can see how big this one is. This is the biggest scorpion we've found all night. This might be my chance to actually get one out and show it up close. But I'm gonna have to be really careful using one of these pieces of wood and actually pry them out. I've got a glove just in case I get stung. Okay, cling on. Oh, I'm really deep. Got it. Wow! Big scorpion, woohoo! Wow, okay, I definitely needed that glove because there's absolutely no shadow of a doubt. 
But that scorpion is trying to go straight. Whoa, look at the size of that scorpion. That is huge. I can't believe it. Look at it. It's an absolute whopper. If everybody turns the light off quickly in three, two, one, I'll show you this. Whoa, look at that. An absolute monster of a scorpion. Woohoo! Look at that. You see that stinger on the end? That I would not want in my finger. They're actually not highly deadly. They're not very venomous, but I still don't want to see what it feels like to be stung by a scorpion like this, a giant forest scorpion. Whew. Okay, I'm going to just slowly put this one down. What I'm going to do is hold the pincer. Um, obviously, that's the, the end where it can sting. Normally with scorpions, they, they have two ways of defending themselves, either with their stinger or with their pincers. So first off, if you have really big pincers as a scorpion, generally it means that you're not that venomous. That curling up of the tail is almost like it's poised, but at that point when the tail comes completely up, that's where they can puncture straight down. It's remarkable, still growing up like green. No one really knows exactly why scorpions glow in the dark, but they have a, a oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, there's a scorpion on my arm. Oh dear. I might look scared, and yeah, I am certainly scared. Because I don't know what it feels like to be stung by a scorpion. Those little hairs are called tarsal hairs. It allows them to sense the environment around them, sense vibration. It's very intimidating, look at the end of that stinger. Right there, poised to go straight into my finger. And it would inject venom, It'd be very painful. It certainly wouldn't kill me, but I don't know how I'd react with scorpion venom in me. It's never happened to me before, and I don't really want this to be the night at which I get stung by a scorpion. It's only turning out to be quite a gentle giant. It's still quite jittery, very jittery. And like it, I've handled many tarantulas before. It's actually beginning to behave a bit like a tarantula. And it's funny enough that tarantulas and scorpions are actually very closely related. They're both arachnids and they have eight legs. Thank you so much for letting me see you up close. What an amazing experience. I'm gonna take my glove off and then let her back into a burrow. Let's get this black light on the scorpion. Three, two, one. Woo, look at that. Wow, that's a big old scorpion on my arm. Right, there you are. I can't believe I just did that. Might look intimidating, but really, that's a little gentle giant. I'm gonna release her back in her little burrow in there. Oh, does not want to leave me? You don't want to leave me, do you? That's hilarious. Man, I've never seen that. Many, most animals you release, they immediately go straight back in the home. This one doesn't want to go back. Go back home. Back home. There you go. Back in your little tree trunk. Yes, scorpion. What a friendly character. They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This scorpion has shown that even though they look scary with those impressive pincers and that poised stinging tail, they're really nothing to be afraid of. They are shy. And even when I took a closer look, this forest scorpion was nothing but gentle. That's something I've learned with all animals. You treat them gently, they will treat you the same back. But of course, Please, please don't do what I do. Stay a safe distance from wild animals because things don't always go to plan.